वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम नेहा पाराशर वर्किंग इन हेल्थ केयर कंपनी एंड बेस्ड इन जर्मनी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मीटिंग्स विथ यू एस एफ डी ए इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर फर्स्ट वाई डू वी नीड द मीटिंग्स विथ यू एस एफ डी ए सेकेंड आर दीज मीटिंग्स बाइंडिंग और नॉट थर्ड वाई एंड हाउ आर दीज मीटिंग्स डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल मीटिंग्स एंड फोर्थ कैन वी डिस्कस एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन एनी काइंड ऑफ मीटिंग्स In my last video I gave an overview on nine steps during IND preparation. If you have not watched those videos till now then you can watch it now. The link for all the past video have been given in the description box below. In today's video we are on step 3 that is the meetings with USFDA. Whenever a pharmaceutical company want to develop a drug we can have lots of questions related to clinical, non-clinical, CMC or any other aspect related to the drug development program. But do you know US FDA is open to help companies and advise them on such kind of issues. Therefore, it's up to us how do we approach US FDA and how well prepared we are to make best use of these meetings. These meetings are helpful in reducing the overall time for bringing the drug molecule to the market. How does this happen? The earlier we receive the FDA feedbacks, earlier we can know their expectation, and earlier we can redesign our development strategy. But if we don't make use of these meetings, later on we can receive some surprises from FDA, and if we don't meet the FDA expectation, it can lead to delay in the market approval. This is especially more important if we are a small company or if we are about to develop a novel drug for which there are no guidance available in company from a previous experience then it becomes more critical right Then the next question comes are these meetings binding meaning is you as FDA proposed you something during this meeting is it obligatory that you will have to do it or we can also think opposite way that means if during these meetings FDA has not raised any objections on your approach does this mean they are fine and they'll approach your drug later on no then the answer is no what is discussed during these meetings and what fda has recommended us during these meeting is not considered as binding that means if fda said this much data will be sufficient it doesn't mean they will not ask us for more data later on during the dossier review so it's not binding from both the side from fda side and from the development side however these meetings are opportunity for us to understand what is fda's current expectations and approach which will help us to shape our drug development strategy earlier is better then the third question comes why are we so much stressing on these fda meetings why and how are these meetings different from the normal meetings so the meetings with fda are not a routine meeting that we have in our office right there is special kind of meeting so the meetings with fda are not a routine meeting that we have in our office right there is special kind of meeting as we get a dedicated time to resolve our issues or questions with fda plus it takes weeks or months of preparation before the actual date of meetings i would like to highlight three important points why are we so much stressing on these fda meetings and why we have to be careful what we are going to discuss in these meeting the first point is time fda's time is valuable as they are not only dealing with one company's product right they are dealing with lots of product from different companies therefore it's our responsibility as a company that we are clear in our communication to make best use of these meetings and not to waste time and this opportunity if we could not address our questions and are not able to properly communicate with fda we can miss some valuable perspective and recommendations which can lead to some surprises later on during the development which can even lead to clinical hold that's why it is very important that we make best use of this time as it's a time consuming process then the second important point is money we have to pay use user fees for some development program for example when they enter into bpd which is a biosimilar biological development program we have to pay a one time fees and then annual fees going forward so if we are paying the use money but still we are not able to make use of these opportunity to get some valuable advice and recommendations from fda then it's our lack in strategy that we keep our product development on this therefore structured and organized meetings are very important to get the best output from these meetings 
Also remember these meetings are attended by experts leaders from both the sides from FDA side and from pharmaceutical company side right Sometimes companies also hire external consultant to support them during this preparation of the meeting and that's why this might be a quite expensive process Now the third point why we are stressing on these meetings because these meetings are opportunity to build a constructive relationship with FDA We also represent our organization in these meetings, right? And hence, very important what impression we are giving about our organization. So these were the three points why we are stressing on the FDA meeting. Now let's discuss the last question from this video. Can we discuss any kind of questions in any kind of meetings? Think about it. No. Then the answer is no. There is a specific classification of meetings depending on what type of product or drug you are manufacturing. Just to explain you in a very easy way, if you are manufacturing new drug or the novel biological molecule, then these type of drugs are covered by a specific act which is called PADUFA. The full form is Prescription Drug User Fee Act. But if you are developing biosimilar product, then FDA has a specific act to cover these product, and this act is called BASUFA. The full form is Biosimilar User Fee Act. So depending on if your product is falling under PADUFA or BASUFA, FDA has given a specific category of meeting. We'll see each of these categories of meeting in my next video. Now before we end this video, do you already know what types of meetings are already available under PADUFA and BASUFA? If you know the answer, then let me know in the comment section. We'll discuss these meetings in my next video. I'll reveal the answer next week. Till then, let's stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Thank you.